Hey BookTube, this is one from Just One Reader and today I am reviewing Arcadia by Ian Pierce. This came out last year in 2015 and it is published by Nope. Um, so the only thing I'm going to mention really about the plot is what uh, what it says right here in the inside flap, it says three interlocking worlds, four people looking for answers, but who controls the future or the past? Um, and here there's also a little synopsis of the different narratives. Okay, so Arcadia is a novel that pretends to be like larger than life or like a huge narrative that includes interwoven narratives. So it felt a little bit like, for example, Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. Now, Cloud Atlas, I did not enjoy one bit. I thought it was um, really interesting and it showed a lot of potential, but I didn't really get a feeling of wonderment and like, I, I just didn't get it with Cloud Atlas. This, I think, achieved what I wanted Cloud Atlas to achieve. That doesn't mean that this book was perfect or that I loved it. So, um, going back to like the overview of the plot, Arcadia follows very different alternative narrative um, storylines, you could say. Um, so we, we follow different plot lines, each with its own set of characters, um, different conflicts, and eventually as we start piecing things together, it's not that complicated, I think, um, we start connecting the dots and you start getting like, oh, this reminds me of the, the other narrative. And even if these things are happening in alternate universes or uh, one is in the past and the other one is in the future, or it just has apparently nothing to do with the other narratives, you start finding out that Ian Pierce has dropped in some clues and that everything is actually much more connected than it seems. So that was interesting. Now, um, when I started reading this, I was completely blown away by it. Um, I even mentioned it in one of my other videos, uh, one of my most recent videos that I was reading this and that this was going to be pretty surely my favorite book of the year or one of my favorite books of the entire year. That has completely changed now that I finished it. Uh, so I think the problem with this book is, um, for me, like I really enjoyed the first 200 pages of it or yeah, probably like the first third of the novel was just wonderful. I really enjoyed it. There was nothing to criticize, nothing to really um, like pinpoint like an issue. No, I absolutely adored it. Um, there's a narrative, which was my favorite narrative of the entire book. Uh, when we follow uh, this English professor who is attempting to write a fantasy novel and he is actually mentioning people like Lewis and Tolkien. And so he's kind of like part of this club um, of Englishmen. And that narrative started out great. I thought this was, this was the best thing I'd read in many, 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 many a time. Like, this was just great. Um, then there's another narrative in a very distant future, kind of uh, dystopian or uh, apocalyptic, more futuristic view of what happened to the world and who controls the world and how. Um, and then, you know, more narratives started to be added into the story. And my main concern with Arcadia by Ian Pierce is that there came a point, like, halfway through the novel or even before that, that I started to get overwhelmed by just the, how much more he was adding. It was character and then another character and then another character and there was just, there was a huge cast of characters. Um, like I said, the characters of some of the plot lines I thought were fantastic. I thought Professor Henry Lytton um, Rosie, who is uh, a little girl in that narrative, Angela Mearson, those characters from the beginning of the novel, 
They were fantastic. I loved them.、Um, the character of Jay and his master, who live in this world of fantasy, those were great characters, and their stories were going so great. But then I thought that Ian Pierce started to get like a little bit of what I call the. Uh, the puppet master syndrome, like he just started to make up more things, and what can we throw、uh, to these characters, and more conflicts, and more like it just started to get a little bit ridiculous.、Um, then another issue that I had with this novel was that、um, it felt really long, like it is really long, but it it felt ridiculously long, like it was never going to end, and like we had to stop. And pause and interrupt the flow of the story, and then go to a different plotline, a different、uh, narrative, and see the same thing that had already happened, but from another character's point of view. And like it just, it was like,、oh, okay, so let's rewind and let's watch it again, but from this narrative. And at the beginning, that was fine because it gave more. Complexity and more depth to the story, and that's when I started connecting the dots of oh, so that's what's happening. That's what you're doing. You're so smart, the emperors. But then the enchantment of that sort of faded for me, and by the end of the novel, I just wanted to be over with it. Like、uh, something else that I really disliked about this novel is that the writing style is quite inconsistent. It alternates. Between really beautiful and charming and rich descriptions and really great writing, and then like really fast-paced action scenes, dialogues, and you know, basically everything that happened in the magical kingdom of Anterworld, I didn't really care for at all. I thought it was kind of nonsensical. It felt kind of unnecessary, too detailed. I just wanted like. I just wanted to have more of the storylines that I consider to be really important and really enchanting, and、uh, yeah, I just thought this this novel was all right,、uh, but my opinion of it really changed dramatically as I was reading it. Um, at the beginning, it was a clear five star read for me, and now that I finished, I'm gonna give it like a three point five because it had really great moments. It had some amazing characters and some really great、um, plot lines, but I think it was a little bit messy, really messy in my opinion. And I really wish that Ian Pierce had sort of shown some constraint, constraint with、uh, some of the narratives. Now, would I recommend Arcadia by Ian Pierce? I would. I would recommend it because I think maybe it was a little bit over the top for me. But I know there's people out there that have gone completely crazy for it. I know that Jen Campbell, who is a booktuber that I not just admire but deeply、uh, respect and value her opinion,、um, she thought this book was pure gold, and some other booktubers have felt the same way. Sadly, I didn't, but I can definitely see the value and the potential, and I know why so many people are going to love it.、Um, this has been compared. By the way, I didn't say this before. This has been compared a lot to his Dark Materials by Philip Pullman, and I can definitely see why. It is very evocative of Narnia and The Lord of the Rings and his Dark Materials, but in my opinion, it just falls flat. It falls short, and.、Uh, If you are going into this, I would much more strongly suggest that you pick up his dark materials because many people have not read his dark materials and want to read this. My suggestion in that case is: hold on, don't read this. Read his dark materials first because that's a piece of of, of that's a piece of work. That's just fantastic literature, and that's like my favorite trilogy of all time. So, I would say. Read it if you've already read those previous works, but be kind of、um, just aware of you know some potential flaws and that it's going to be kind of a a mess of interlocking worlds and a lot of action in the end and you know it's fine just not necessarily for me. Also, I think it should have been a lot shorter and I have learned this year to appreciate short literature. 
more than long literature. I feel like there's something magical and something great about an author that can deliver a lot in a short amount of pages and a short, shorter space. So that being said, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed more um, and that you are critical of it. Um, so that was my review for Arcadia by Ian Pierce. Um, thank you for watching and comment down below. I will see you next time.